The United States is filled with a staggering amount of mineral wealth, much of which is accessible to anybody willing to go out and look. This is my rock counting series covering each state, and today we'll be looking at the great state of Tennessee. Situated near the heartland of the nation, Tennessee boasts a delightful variety of very collectible minerals. But first, do remember to be safe, be legal, and be prepared. Take plenty of precautionary measures, snacks, and don't cross property lines without express permission. Let's begin. Let's first make note of some industrial specimens you likely will not be able to collect yourself. The Elmwood, Gordonsville, and Cumberland mines, which are owned by the Nearstar Company, are zinc mines. Much of the zinc is in the form of sphalerite. Now, you likely will not be able to enter the mines due to MSHA regulations. Also, the company itself has halted specimens leaving the mine, or rather, they are very much so cracking down on it after some social media drama. Somebody was showing off the huge room of minerals that they had pulled out of it and that they were selling, and then the company got wind of it, and now specimens are in hot demand and limited supply. But if you do happen to run across some Elmwood, uh, Tennessee fluorite, calcite, sphalerite, barite even, uh, at a reasonable price, snatch it up, those pieces are starting to get expensive. Just a little heads up for you today. So let's take a closer look at Tennessee. Tennessee has a state mineral, a state rock, a state gem, and a state fossil. The state mineral is the agate, which is kind of basic, but you can get some fun variety there. The state rock is limestone, which is even more basic considering we sit on the largest limestone slab in the nation between where I'm at in Missouri and Tennessee. Their gem is the river pearl, and their fossil is the, here comes a fun word, pterotrigonia. It always catches me off guard because it's taro with a P. I'll put it on the screen. All right, I've made you wait long enough, so let's tear into this. Here are nine locations that you can go and find your own gems and minerals in Tennessee. The first one is the Cooper's Gem Mine, where people are finding all kinds of fun quartz specimens and garnets. And I do love me some garnets. Speaking of, if you haven't yet, check out my first video on my birthstone series, which is all about garnets. No, it's actually my second video. The first month. I confuse myself sometimes, let's keep going. Number two, the Tennessee River, you can find freshwater pearls. You might have to do a little bit of work, it's probably going to be pretty gross, but you can find them. Number three, the Ben Lomond Lomond Lamond Mountain, Ben Lamond Mountain, mm. you get what I'm saying, it's on the screen. People find geodes, calcite, and celestite, love celestite, especially blue celestite. Chef kiss. So good. Number four, Richardson's Landing. People find Lake Superior agates here, and it's probably from the river washing them down. You can actually find some Lake Superior agates in Missouri as well off the Mississippi River, which is pretty great. Number five, the Unica Mountains. People find Unikite, which I am assuming that's probably where that word comes from. Exciting. Epidote and quartz. Number six, Horse Mountain. Several varieties of agates, including the coveted paint rock agate, which is a un relatively unique agate to Tennessee. Highly desirable, highly sought after. Very, very nice. Number seven, Russellville. People find geodes in the streams and gravel bars of this area. And I know you all love your geodes. Number eight, the Little Tennessee River. People find clear quartz specimens all along this river, which is fun. Usually you'll find them in gravel bars or if you do some screening, but exciting. Number nine, Boatland. People find calcite, celestite, geodes, and pyrite, as well as some agates and some other stuff in this general location. As always, this is not a comprehensive list, so if you want more information or possibly to get into some more locations, check out one of these Gem and Mineral Clubs. Gem and Mineral Clubs are an excellent resource to get into the Gem and Mineral world, and it is a resource that is invaluable. Tennessee is a mineral-rich place. There are a lot that you are not going to be able to collect yourself, but there are plenty of places that you can go and do some of your own collecting. There's a lot of fun cutting material on this list. There's some fun mineral specimens, and I hope that this has been beneficial and edifying to you today.
And if you haven't yet, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Also check out my Mooney Fine Mineral of the Month Club. It's an exciting little uh, thingamabobber that I'm doing where I'll send out a curated mineral each month, a write-up on the mineral and a specimen tag, maybe some extra write-ups. I'm also looking at getting some exclusive discounts for club members and maybe some other fun stuff as well in the future. I want to make it as good of a value as possible. And speaking of, the next one's coming up. So keep an eye out for a video on the reveal. I hope you all have had a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will do my best to get more of this series out as quickly as I can. It's it's only been six months, folks. I don't know what you're all upset about. Have a good day. <laughs>